Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, much better. No, really, I'll be fine. News from the front isn't good. More and more killer cells have arrived in her throat, but millions of new viruses are still being spawned. Okay. Well, come and check on me in the morning. All right, I'll see you then. Yeah, bye. Holly's chances of singing on stage in 24 hours are looking remote. Her body is losing the war. Holly has been fighting the virus for 36 hours with no sign of success. But somewhere in her body, there exists a weapon so powerful, it could destroy the virus completely. The task is to find it. All over her infected throat, cells called dendritic cells have been gathering fragments of virus. Wearing virus spikes like badges on their surface, they go in search of the ultimate weapon against influenza B. You're not eating anything. So you can be in the bathroom. That's all right, I'll get on my way out. See you later. Hope you're feeling better. Bye. All of Holly's hopes are pinned on the dendritic cells. The immune system is one of the most remarkable features of the human body. Here in Holly's lymph, a trillion cells known as T cells and B cells are floating, each one individually designed to kill a different foreign invader, each one waiting for the call. And among these trillion cells, just one T cell and B cell are designed to deal with influenza B. If they're found, they'll mount a devastating pincer attack on the virus. You right, Hal? Hi. How are you feeling, Hal? Terrible. I'm sorry, but we're gonna have to cancel. A dendritic cell reaches one of Holly's lymph glands. It offers up its virus spikes, seeking out the one cell which might recognize the virus. Finally, it docks with a T cell. For 25 years, this one T cell has been waiting to be called into action. It begins to divide. Within hours, the original cell will become thousands of T cell clones. You don't look good. No. Sorry. What if I'm ill that the minute I'm not around, you let Alex kick me out? So who's this Monica then? She's Alex's girlfriend. He wanted her in the band from the beginning. Can she sing? She knows the songs. She hasn't got the stinking flu. I'll be on stage now. Packed with dividing T cells, Holly's glands have begun to swell. But this time, her pain is a sign that the tide is turning. The T cells are launched into her bloodstream. In Holly's throat, the T cells arrive in the thousands. They home in on infected cells and take them out with surgical precision. The final battle has begun.
Holly's cough is further evidence that the T cells are winning. <coughs> the cilia, which carry away cell debris, have themselves been damaged in the battle. Now the only way Holly can clear this debris from her throat is by coughing. Meanwhile, the other half of the pincer attack has begun. In Holly's lymph, a B cell has recognized a virus spike and begun to clone itself. Unlike T cells, B cells don't go to the battlefield. Instead, they manufacture millions of minute proteins called antibodies. Like tiny heat-seeking missiles, the antibodies target newborn viruses, locking onto their spikes. Smothered in antibodies, the viruses are paralyzed. They can no longer infect Holly's cells. The invader has no place to hide. The viruses breeding inside cells are killed by T cells. Free-floating viruses are neutralized by antibodies. Between them, they will wipe the virus out. But Holly's symptoms won't disappear just yet. Only when her immune system scales down its effort will she start to feel better. <coughs> it has taken a week for Holly's body to beat the virus. On the battlefield, new throat cells are starting to grow. Most of the T cells, their job done, shrivel and die. But some, known as memory cells, will patrol her body forever. The memory cells make Holly immune. If the virus tries to invade again, they'll instantly wipe it out. But influenza B has one more trick to play. It can mutate so that the next time Holly's memory cells might not recognize it, and she'll get ill all over again. Well, she wasn't that bad. Alex, they were throwing beer cans at her. Yeah, one of them hit me. No, never mind, eh? Oh, thanks, well, man. So you reckon you'll be a lot safer with me back in the bag? <laughs> Just a bit. Though Holly no longer has flu, the last few viruses remain in her saliva. Her virus can't survive outside a human host. It urgently needs a new body to colonize.